Algiers is the capital and largest city of Algeria. The city's population at the 2008 census was 2,988,145, and in 2011 was estimated to be around 3,500,000. An estimate puts the population of the larger metropolitan city to be around 5 million. Algiers is located on the Mediterranean Sea and in the north-central portion of Algeria. Algiers is situated on the west side of a bay of the Mediterranean Sea. The modern part of the city is built on the level ground by the seashore, the old part, the ancient city of the days, climbs the steep hill behind the modern town and is crowned by the Casbah or Citadel, 122 meters, 400 feet, above the sea. The Casbah and the two keys form a triangle. The city's name is derived via French and Catalan Alger from the Arabic name Aljazer, the islands. This name refers to the four former islands which lay off the city's coast before becoming part of the mainland in 1525. Al-Jazer is itself a truncated form of the city's older name Jazer Bani Mazgana, the islands of the Banu Mazgana, sons of Mazgana, used by early medieval geographers such as al adraisi and Yaqat al hamoi In antiquity, the Greeks knew the town as Icosian, ancient Greek, Kappa Sigma Iota Omicron Nu, which was Latinized as Icosium under Roman rule. The Greeks explained the name as com coming from their word 420, Epsilon Kappa Omicron Sigma Iota, Icosi supposedly because it had been founded by 20 companions of Hercules when he visited the Atlas Mountains during his labors. The city's earliest history was as a small port in the Nemedia where Berbers were trading with other Mediterraneans. After the Punic Wars, the Romans eventually took over administration of the town, which they called Icosium. Its ruins now form part of the modern city's marine quarter, with the Rue de la Marine following a former Roman road. Roman cemeteries existed near Bab el Oued and Bab Azoun. The city was given Latin rites by the Emperor Vespasian. The bishops of Icosium are mentioned as late as the 5th century, but the ancient town fell into obscurity during the Muslim conquest of North Africa. The present city was founded in 944 by Bolagine Ibn Ziri, the founder of the Berber Zirid dynasty. He had earlier, 935, built his own house and a Sanhaja center at Ashur, just south of Algiers. Although his Zirid dynasty was overthrown by Roger II of Sicily in 1148, the Zirids had already lost control of Algiers to their cousins the Hamadids in 1014. The city was wrested from the Hamadids by the Almohads in 1159, and in the 13th century came under the dominion of the Zianid sultans of Tlemcen. Nominally part of the Sultanate of Tlemcen, Algiers had a large measure of independence under Thalaba Amirs of its own due to Oran being the chief seaport of the Zianids. The Pennant of Algiers, an islet in front of Algiers Harbour, had been occupied by the Spaniards as early as 1302. Thereafter, a considerable amount of trade began to flow between Algiers and Spain. However, Algiers continued to be of comparatively little importance until after the expulsion of the Moors from Spain, many of whom sought asylum in the city. In 1510, following their occupation of Oran and other towns on the coast of Africa, the Spaniards fortified the islet of Pennon and imposed a levy intended to suppress Corsair activity. In 1516, the Emir of Algiers, Selim B. Tumi, invited the Corsair brothers Erij and Hayreddin Barbarossa to expel the Spaniards. Erij came to Algiers, ordered the assassination of Selim, and seized the town and ousted the Spanish in the capture of Algiers, 1516. Hayreddin, succeeding Erij after the latter was killed in battle against the Spaniards in the fall of Tlemcen, 1517, was the founder of the Pashaluk, which subsequently became the Beylik, of Algeria. Barbarossa lost Algiers in 1524, but regained it with the capture of Algiers, 1529, and then formally invited the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent to accept sovereignty over the territory and to annex Algiers to the Ottoman Empire.